Two drive-by shootings left at least three Israelis dead and several more wounded. And Israeli police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld says there's an increase in these kinds of terror attacks. We've seen a wave of terrorist attacks, but at the same time an increase in wave of operations that have taken place. With uh, the peak of those operations being in fact over the last 24 hours where our border police units managed to find, target, and during gun battles that broke out, two terrorists were shot and killed from two previous terrorist attacks. After the attacks, hundreds of Israelis protested outside the Prime Minister's home and called for more action. Most people murdered my grandchild just a few days ago who hadn't even been born and wounded my daughter who nearly died and my son-in-law. And this has to stop. We are a democracy. We respect freedom. And this cannot be tolerated anymore. Prime Minister Netanyahu announced a series of measures, including demolition of the killer's homes and increased building in Judea and Samaria. On its northern border, Israel is still fighting a hidden threat. Defense forces discovered a third tunnel built by terrorists from Lebanon into Israel. And the tunnels put Israel and the Hezbollah terror group on a collision course. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning to Hezbollah during a visit to Israeli troops in the north. Our deployment is ready for a strong response if Hezbollah makes a big mistake and decides to harm us or to resist the operation we are conducting. They will be hit in such a way that they cannot even imagine. Israeli soldiers dismantling the tunnels released a recording of the classified technology to detect them. Meanwhile, a Hezbollah leader boasted all of Israel is within range of its missiles. Sheikh Naim Qasim said there is not a single point in the occupied territories out of reach of Hezbollah's missiles. The Zionists cannot tolerate such a high level of threats in confrontation with Hezbollah, which is why they have no motive for entering another war with Lebanon. Israel's chief of military intelligence warned lawmakers that while the risk of war is low, the potential exists for circumstances to escalate out of control. Lebanon's president downplayed the danger. Israel has informed us through the United States that there are no aggressive intentions and it will continue to work inside its territories. We too have no aggressive intentions. The tunnels, however, appear to be part of an aggressive strategy by Hezbollah. Israel says the tunnels violate the UN resolution that ended the 2006 Second Lebanon War that prohibited Hezbollah from a military buildup. Since then, however, Hezbollah missiles have increased about tenfold to some 150,000, giving the terror group more military firepower than 95 percent of countries in the world. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Alpha, oh